Now let's move the conversation away from Kenya now to Zimbabwe, where the country's finance minister, Mtuli Nkube, recently signed off on measures focused on increasing demand for the local currency while arresting demand for the United States dollar. These developments face resistance from uh, both international and local traders who, who, of course, lost faith in the local dollar as it continues uh, sliding against the U.S. dollar. New Central's Omolola or Lola Day tells us more. Zimbabwean businesses are refusing to take local currency, which continues to lose value in a struggling economy. Instead, they are accepting U.S. dollars in a bid to protect themselves from soaring inflation. Many products in Zimbabwe are imported and businesses need foreign currency to thrive, but the Zimbabwean currency known as bond note is not accepted outside the country. Even local business owners such as food vendors continue to shun the local currency. I still prefer sales made with the U.S. dollar so that I can restock and keep the balance. If I keep bond notes, when I think of buying U.S. dollars or I want to restock later, the rate would have changed. So I think the U.S. dollar is better. However, the country's Ministry of Finance recently announced measures to boost local currency saying all government agencies will now substantially collect fees in the local currency. He added that all duties with few exceptions will also be paid with the bond note. Economists say the measure is a step in the right direction, but the government should have put in place measures to cushion the effect of the usage of bond note on both individuals and businesses. Measures that have been announced by the Minister of Finance, I expected to firstly reduce the accelerated depreciation of the currency, and secondly, reduce the accelerated dollarization of the economy. For now, we must dollarize, full stop, uh, because the Zim dollar has lost the value, so you can't force a dead currency on people. Even government is refusing the Zim dollar. Go to the passport, you can't get a passport in Zim dollar. So who am, I, who am I to take the same dollar? He is saying that um, uh, he's going to be encouraging the use of the same dollar for payment of levies and duties, but he's not talking about income taxes. The Zimbabwean government is against the dollarization of the economy as it says there are not enough U.S. dollars to sustain the country's economy. Although experts say the local currency is depreciating, the government says the reintroduction of its own currency will have value and help both individuals and businesses grow. Omolola Ololade reporting for News Central.